Hey guys, Zen up here, and right now you are looking at the two deep cycle marine batteries that I've been using for my solar panel system and my battery backup system for the past year or so. I've always wanted to get some better batteries, but it's just they were too expensive and I didn't have the money and kind of timing didn't seem right. But with a link on Facebook to Napa Auto Parts, at least here in Western Washington, I uh, go to the Napa Auto Parts Facebook page and they have a coupon there that you click your local store and you click the coupon put your email in they'll email you a $25 off a $50 purchase or more coupon. The wife used her coupon to buy the parts that she needed for the tune-up for her car and I used the coupons at two different stores to buy two 6 volt golf cart batteries. These are from Napa. They are 8146, a GC2, and 122 minutes. Not really sure what all of that means, except they're better than those. Now on this system, these are both 12 volt batteries, so I could put a positive to a positive and a negative to a negative and keep it a 12 volt system. Here, I have two six volt batteries, so I'm gonna have to put a positive to a negative, and that will take a six volt plus a six volt, make it into a 12 volt system to go into the rest of what I have. So I'm going to do that right now and then I will get back and show you the end result. I now have the two deep cycle marine batteries totally disconnected and we're going to put them aside for a project later on in the week. Now let's go ahead and connect up the 6 volt batteries. Now I have the red or the black wires that I can use for this. I am going to use the black wire and plug in the battery here. and connect it to the other battery here. There we go. Now we have one 12 volt battery. Now that we have one 12 volt battery, this is the negative for the whole battery and this is the positive for the whole battery. So we have to plug in all negative stuff here, all positive stuff to there. First, we're gonna start with the charge controller. We're gonna put this on and just put this on for just a kind of second, nice and loose. Then we are going to take the positive wire for the charge controller and stick it onto the positive side. Again, nice and loose for just now. As you can see, the charge controller is reading it as a 12 volt battery, showing about 12.2 volts right now. Now we just have to plug in the inverter again. And the same thing for the positive side. Okay. Just tighten these bolts up a little bit more and we will be good to go. The only thing left to do is to plug the solar panels back into the charge controller or plug our Schumacher battery charger in and onto the batteries and we can get them up to their full charge. Well, that's all I have for this video. As always, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, check us out on the website and we'll see you guys on the next one. Please be right. And connect it. It's positive to negative. And connect it to the other battery here. And connect it to part that always gets me. Are we gonna spark? Nope. 